Recently, I've been doing a lot of research on the best way to make all the city buildings in my dream game, and it's led me down quite the rabbit hole. You see, we start with builds, but then we need to narrow it down to how to optimize these builds, and then how to make textures, and how will the blender textures mix with the Roblox materials that I'm already using in the game? Ah, just so many questions. But while I was going down said rabbit hole, I found a pretty sick plugin for Blender, and it allows you to put Roblox textures in Blender with only one click. I looked it up on YouTube and couldn't really find any videos explaining how it works. And since all the comments on the plugins page are like, designed for Blender beginners uh, with no experience, and then I'm not even a beginner with 3D programs and I have no idea how to use this. Then we have, where do I put this when I download? I'm a beginner. You say for beginners, but this is clearly for people who only know how to use it. So is there a tutorial? Because I want to use this so bad, but don't know how. Anyways, I think you guys get the point. First things first, go down to the description and there will be one link right at the top. Click that and download the plugin. Don't worry guys, it is 100% free. Now that you downloaded the plugin, go ahead and open up Blender. We'll be using version 3.5 for this tutorial, but it's worth noting that Blender 3.0 or above is required. Now, once you're in Blender, hit file, append, then find the Blender file you downloaded, click on it, and then a bunch more things will open up. You're going to want to double click on the object one, and then click on cube.002. I think there's supposed to be a cube one as well, and that's probably the one that lets you mix materials, but for some reason when I downloaded this, I only had a cube two. You may have a cube one and a cube two, if so, good good for you, <laughs> but I only had a cube one. I think the cube two is for mixing materials, but once again, it just wasn't in mine. Now, I will be trying to contact the owner of this plugin, the guy who made it like so, so long ago. I don't even know if he's interested in it anymore, but I will be contacting him or at least trying to, to see how we can mix materials because that feature alone would top this plugin off as one of the best lazy plugins. I guess lazy plugin as in makes us or lets us be lazy. Not saying the guy who made it was lazy. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations. You just did the hardest part of using this plugin. All that's left now is open up the shading tab and you'll see the node. Simply click on the cube or anything you want to have the Roblox texture on, connect the node from the texture to the surface node, and boom, you have a Roblox texture on your model in Blender. If you want to put this texture on anything else, any objects, models, whatever, just click on the texture node, then right click and copy, then click on whatever model you want to put it on and paste it into the shading tab on that model. And then you can freely change it to whatever you want. Another amazing part about this plugin is how easy you could change the colors of the materials. So if you're new to Blender or just want an easy way to texture, this plugin is for you. I guess we got a short but sweet video today. I hope it helps you guys. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.